Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Chris. Today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my five favorite methods of learning foreign languages. I think I've learned a lot for the past couple of years because um, I moved to Germany recently and uh, I moved here with a level of B1 and I was able to attend my first job interviews and actually successfully because I got a job and I got blue card and in the end um, um, my visa issue was solved just like that. Of course my level of dedication helped me a lot. It took me eight months before I got my first job interview in Munich and I flew here for one day and attended the interview. Of course I didn't get this job because it was my first interview and it was partially in English, partially in German. But it was a great experience and um, I was really proud of myself and so this is what helped me. First is attending good German courses. Don't ignore this opportunity. I know that it's, a, it's um, like generation of uh, internet, online schools and so forth. Please make sure that you have constant contact with the uh, a person who really really good in the language that you're trying to learn there is someone who is look can look after you and um, give you a hint um, if you make constant mistakes if you mispronounce some words or some sounds make sure that you have a feedback this is very very important i attended um Austrian Institute in Warsaw and what is good about Austrian Institute is that I had an impression that they actually put a lot of efforts into putting very good functional groups together so I um, remember uh, I've been passing a special test um, and then I've been having an interview and then we were in such a group where we were familiar with the language to more or less similar extent and it was really really great to um, have communication in this group and um, understand that you're not the dumbest in the group or you're not the smartest in the group it was actually very very great and uniform second you must absolutely have the music in your player or in your uh, playlist I created a couple of playlists with German uh, songs in, in it uh, it was fun uh, I learned a lot of good words and bad words, and but it actually worked pretty well. Uh, I've been just writing it down, translating it then, and uh, like singing along time to time, so it was quite cool. I was trying to listen to podcasts. I will link it down below. For example, um, Coffee Break German was really, really great. I really love the uh, creators of this uh, of this audio show of this podcast and um, they have really simple conversations so yeah if you enjoy audio information make sure this channel is always full of the foreign language you're learning which is either podcast or radio or music or maybe some simple uh, audiobook third method is of course online courses here i cannot recommend something specific i will link it down below things that i've been using actually i cannot say how much of the progress was actually due to these online courses i was trying to um, attend uh, like a exercise or to make an exercise or two um, every single day and uh, i've been using duolingo i've been using BSUU, I think I will link it. I don't remember exactly how do you pronounce it actually. Um, I've been using uh, Bubble a little bit. I was actually enjoying Memorize a lot. It helps you memorize more of not more of grammar but more of the like new words. And what else? Uh, well, if I remember something else, I will also link it down below. Method number four is conversations. Make sure you have at least one person with whom you can speak at least a little bit, like half an hour a day, make some Skype call, or, well, just make sure you say it out loud, the stuff that you actually learn. Just make sure you say it out loud to someone. If it doesn't work for you, you can try messaging or, uh, well, emails. Well, at least some trigger that will make you actually formulate your thoughts and just put them into writing or into the speech. Mm -hmm. 
and method number five that is very simple that is um, well YouTube or videos or movies or uh, well TV if you like watching some well I think everybody loves watching TV or TV shows or some short YouTube videos or cartoons um, there are plenty there are plenty of material out there you have to just find your own I will link you down below the materials that I enjoyed while learning German language but it helped me big time so I will highly recommend that to everyone thank you very much for watching this is Chris and make sure you subscribe to my channel and put the like to this video if you like this material and if you want to see more of this kind and please leave in the comment section down below which language are you currently learning and See you next time. Bye bye.